What is the Chrono in the Airbus? This is actually a really good question. So, on the glare shield, on the first officer side and the captain's side, you have a little button that says Chrono. To simply put, Chrono, or chronometer, means time. It's a stopwatch. This plays in seconds and minutes. Press it once, it starts. Press it again, it pauses. Press it one more time, it disappears. But the more interesting part is what's right next to it. The dedicated clock for the aircraft. Now a bit of a history lesson here. Back in the old days, these clocks still existed on aircraft. But they were mechanical, analog. They called them eight-day clocks. Pilots or maintenance would have to wind them to make sure they run. Now you say to yourself, why do you need a clock on an airplane on modern days? Well, it became apparent that the FAA did approve a time indicator that is required inside the flight deck, especially when it comes down to IFR certified aircraft. Pilots use a clock during the flight to time maneuvers or for navigational purposes. And having a dedicated aircraft clock was always a good thing. And this is because of redundancy. As aircraft became more modern, digitization came into play. Now these clocks are digital. You'll notice it's on UTC time, universal coordinate time. That is a standard for aviation. Multiple settings here and multiple interfaces. The clock has the capability of gaining time from GPS. That's why you have the little knobs showing GPS. The time display is controlled by a GPS receiver. INT position is basically the clock's own internal time base. And the set position is to set the clock internal time base. Once again, UTC time counts hours, minutes, seconds. The ET stands for elapsed time. And the CHR is the chronometer. Basically a counter. Just like your wristwatch. A chronograph. But guess what? It's not restricted to only the Airbus. Every single aircraft have these. Welcome to the Boeing 737. And here is the chronometer on this one. This is the NG series or the Dash 800. Same functionality. The only difference on this one is it does not have a time button or a chrono button. The 737 Max, on the other hand, does have it. But as you can see with a little bit of a demonstration here, same functionality, same things that are displayed, just in a little bit of a di different digital format, but still very clear, very helpful to pilots. One very interesting thing to note about these clocks is that they are directly tied into the battery bus of the aircraft. They are always running. As long as the battery is connected, they will always run. Here's another example. This is a Boeing 777, and notice the clocks where they are. That's right, the digital unit has been removed. Now it's finally displayed on the primary flight display unit, right in front of the pilots, right at the bottom corners. But the same information is displayed. The UTC time, but as well as they have a button for the clock. This is a Boeing, so a little bit of difference here. Airbus likes to call it a chrono, Boeing likes to call it a clock, but same functionality. And here we go, the creme de la creme, the beautiful plastic princess, the 787. As you can see, the clock button, and once you press it, a lovely digital display appears. And the 787 on their primary flight display also has a dedicated spot where it shows all the information needed, whether it be timing something, or the UTC time, the date, or the elapsed time. All of it is displayed digitally right there for the pilots at all times. So time to time, aircraft maintenance does need to replace batteries. And as I said before, the clocks are directly connected to the main batteries. The reasoning for this is when all power is lost, the clock will always work. Once again, for navigational purposes. But yes, maintenance will disconnect the batteries. But once we do disconnect the batteries, that clock will basically be rendered useless. That's when we have to go back in and reset the clock. Just one of our responsibilities. But that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to throw down your questions down in the comments. Ask me anything. And as always, try to be on time. Yes, pun intended. See you on the next one. Take care.